sisters. We live and breathe horses. We ride them, train them, show them, and fall off them. Vicky's the oldest. She's what we call the talent because she's good at everything. Vicky took all the bravery in the family. I love extreme, fast, a little bit dangerous, a little bit scared. Kelly, she's like our media rep. And smile. She's the girly one, the princess. If something's going to go wrong and I'm involved, it's drama time five. And then there's me, Amanda. I'm the baby of the family. <laughs> Amanda's always been the mischief maker. I'm the entertainer, if you will. <laughs> We're unorthodox. Competitive. Hey, I got it! I got it. That was me. Didn't that it? was me. There were two shots. Oh. And don't hold back. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh my goodness. Me and my sisters are on our wildest ride yet, training Kaimanawa horses to compete in New Zealand's first ever wild stallion challenges in just 150 days. It was probably one of the most terrifying things I've done. It's going to be a wild ride. Tonight, there are dangerous encounters. Dude, I didn't do that. Crappy conditions. That's not it. And doomed ambitions. We can't do the challenge. Incredibly disappointed. Ready, Vicky? Our wild horses have finally arrived in Whangarei. They're at the stockyards, two k's down the road. Yeah. Okay, here's the halters. How many do you have? Seven. Today we're handling them for the first time, which is exciting but scary. Who knows how they'll react? Halters, brushes, ropes. Hey, done. We don't have any yards at home that are high enough or sturdy enough to contain wild horses, and we can't bring them back to the farm until they're handled more. OK, Amanda, you and me can feed the hay. Kelly, and then you grab the halters. The the OK. Into a drum, Amanda. I know. Keep moving. As usual, Vicky's the first one in separating the kaimanuas into pairs before we get our hands on them. We want them to get used to us sharing their space. But why is it only me and Kelly making out? They need to move. We just gotta let them run. Ooh, he's just, they've gotta learn to relax. Oh, boys. These are definitely the two most active. Oh, boys. Hey, Mandy, your horse is bleeding. Is it? Oh, he's got a huge hole in his head. He wasn't bleeding when he came off the track. I have, a, I saw him. It seems one of my boys, who I've named Hoff, has already been in the wars. We're gonna have to clip it and see how bad it is. Good boy. Oh, good luck trying to do that with a wild horse. <laughs> it's my first time handling wild horses, and to be honest, I'm <laughs> better than them. <laughs> the problem is, is I've got to do a lot more work on him to get him to a point where I can treat his injury. Good boy. I'm keen to gain his trust face to face. Wow, it's good, Amanda. He's probably gonna bite me. He's probably gonna bite you? Oh, look at you. Wow, good boy. It's really special the first time you touch a horse's face, especially a wild one, and I am the first one to touch one. He's got a snotty nose, conjunctivitis. I'd say he's getting an infection. That's not good. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. You're such a chicken. Yeah, you came at me. I wasn't even close to him. He just launched it. <laughs> you said, how'd your ground? He actually backed up. If I held my ground, I would be on the ground. You can, you can like, wave your arms and get them to stop, but horses like Hoff, he was coming at me not to scare me. He was coming no. at me to attack me. Standing in your ground with a horse like Hoff is asking for trouble. Oh. Death more like. Here, let's, let's bond. Let's bond through the fence. Good boy. This is much safer. He doesn't want to be your friend right now, Commander. Yes, he does. He just doesn't know it. Oi, what are you doing, you crazy cat? You can't bite me from here. Good boy. Don't bite me. <laughs> Ooh. The horse is definitely one round one. Amanda's a bit of a wuss, I think. Uh, but he's been kicked in the head overnight, and I think he's got a massive headache. Uh, but we can't treat him or, or handle him until he calms down and Mandy can get a halter on him. 
But his little pony, Doc, is looking pretty upset too. Kelly, this is the one that was head nodding in the muster, eh? Yeah, noddy. Oh, so he's... He's the stress-related one. That's, that's, what he can't, that's why he can't cope, he switches off. Touching them hands-on, it's about the feel, the touch, and them becoming aware that we're part of them. Hey, I'm gonna get brushed so much, little man. Oh boy. There you go, it's pretty nice white halter. Oh. Oh, mine's got lice. Oh, he's crawling. Yeah. We're gonna have to lice treat them all. We found lice on a few of them, and if we take them home and they touch our other horses, we've got 50 horses up there, and we don't want them all catching lice. We don't lice. have 50 horses. We do. We don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. You're a little fighter. You're quite cute. I like your attitude. While Vicky's acing it... Look at you. Me and Kelly aren't exactly living the dream. <laughs> oh, you are. Don't run away from them, Kelly. You have to hold your ground. Put the blue barrel in your arms. Don't hop up on rails, Kelly. Every time you hop up on a rail, they get away with it. You have to stand your ground. They're lead stallions. They've, they've led, you know, big herds and they fought heaps of fights. And you can tell by the scars on some of these stallions that they've, you know, been in some serious battles. Well, Vicky's like over us wimping one. out, yep, so now. simply steps in and finishes okay. the job. Absolutely perfect. Vicky took all the bravery in the family and left me and Kelly with nothing. Yep, keep going. She's got to find it. Hello. Yep. You gotta pretend you're not scared. Oh yeah, well. <laughs> not all Vicky Wilson. Well Come on. Kelly's terrified. I'm not terrified, I just don't want to rush them. You're not rushing him, Kelly. I've handled wild horses before, but I always try and avoid all the dangerous stuff. Um, so in comparison to the others, I have quite a lot to prove and I'm sure my way will be quite different from Vicky's. Hello. Every single one of my horses halted and you don't have any. That's right, Amanda doesn't have one of hers halted either. Yep, rub it in. Come on. Good boy, come on. I saved an extra horse from slaughter at the muster, a grey o named Talak. It's cute, he just looks like a cloudy. Right now he's the first one to give me success. At least these ones, their first instinct isn't to kick or bite me. He's nice. a good boy. I like this boy. Good boy. Whoa, here we go. Whoa. What do you think, Argo? Life's a bit scary having hands on for the first time. Oh boy. He's got two stars. Two worlds on his head means something special. Argo has the biggest baby head in the world. I've got my suspicions that Argo's quite young, younger than we think. Uh, to compete in the challenge, he needs to be at least three. Uh, we won't know until we can age his teeth and have a look. Oh He'll be cool in the challenge, I reckon. That'd be amazing. Because you'll be able to yeah. compete him, because he's big. There's no way I'd be putting my hand in amongst all those wild teeth. But Vicky, she's right in there. Oh my goodness. What? Ah, there's no permanent teeth there. If he's as young as I think he is, it could change everything. Pete in New Zealand's first wild stallion challenge, we've been randomly allocated our horses. But it looks like Vicky's lucked out. One of her horses is totally stressed, and the other is basically a toddler. Those first two on the corners are baby babies. It could be rising three, which means he's two now. I can't believe this is happening. I'm gutted. Worst news ever. He has to be three to compete in the challenge, and it's halved my chances. Look at that, not one permanent tooth in there. Well, slowly. Are you sure? Holy shit. Holy shit, all right. Well, oh he's just my... a baby. You have no idea. Hey, Kelly, that means he can't compete in the challenge. No. That's really unfair. I'm really disappointed. We won't know for sure if Argo's out of the competition until the dentist has the final say. But right now, I'm stoked because my special through the fence training method seems to be paying off. I think I think it's my finger, probably. Yep. Can I catch conjunctivitis off him? Amanda's a little bit of a loose cannon. 
She kind of does what she wants most of the time. Oh, get the nails off. I've been riding since I was really young, same as Kelly and Vicky. We are all quite adventurous. I guess it goes back to us not having a lot of money when we were younger, so we had to create our own sort of fun. And we explored everywhere. We'd just go off into the bush and come back a few hours later. Yeah, had a pretty cool childhood. <laughs> we like exciting stuff and we like challenges and we like being able to better ourselves and beat each other. Especially me and Kelly always fight it out. We always want to win. But I've started beating Vicky lately. She doesn't like it, but I have. So that's pretty fun. Amanda's a very talented writer, uh, but she's a real comedian as well. And let's just say she likes her sleep. Ah, oh, I just want to go back to bed. Oh, Hi. it's so tired. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay, so I'm a little work challenged, but I usually come up with the best ideas around here. This time though, it's Kelly who's come up with a plan to keep Vicky in the running if her horse is too young. Who are you calling? Elda. Oh yeah, about the horses, about the horses. Hello. Hi Elda, it's Kelly. But I'm not exactly wrapped with her idea. If yep. his bones won't cope with the workload, yep. would the committee make a decision on swapping out Talek, perhaps, to, for Vicky to use it as a challenge horse. I guess it makes sense for Vicky to take Talek because he's an extra stallion. But so far, he's my favourite. He could back up or rear or bolt forward. He's got the whole right thing. He's not worried. He's my wild stallion. He's the one that I trust the most. We'll send it out around the committee and see what reaction we get there. In okay. Somebody, more or less, cool. And we'll play it from there. Okay, that sounds great. I'm keen to let the dentist confirm Argo's age before we do anything drastic, thanks Kelly. For me and Vicky though, it's back to work. It's our business to train horses. And small event days like this mean our young show jumpers can learn to strut their stuff. Clear eight, last fence on 12. We don't show jump for fame or anything else. We show jump because we love it. It's the partnership you have with the horses and the amount of trust that you can get with a horse. We'd compete in at least 30 different events a year. Cuts into our weekends, I'll tell you. Kelly is at home working her beloved stallion. <laughs> I think she's in love with that horse. Huh? If you get real flash, I'll take you to the beach. Does that sound like a good plan? She does have a life away from horses, whereas yeah. we kind of don't. Horses are our life. <laughs> yeah. 24-7. Although if the size of Elder's massive dreadlock is anything to go by, our princess is going to be there for quite a while. It's just thick enough to be like an extra leg. Kelly's not taking him to the stallion challenge, but she's still got to tame him, and she likes things to look pretty. Ah, you got it. <laughs> look. Oh, that's so disgusting. Look at it. <sighs> Me and Vicky are leaving the clean-cut world of show jumping to head back and get our hands dirty. Vicky, okay. Kelly, he's doing Aww. so good. Go. Well done. Eating out of your hand is really like an acceptance thing. It's kind of like, hey, I'm relaxed. I can cope with this. Yeah, has been pretty, pretty amazing. We um, thought he'd be obviously a lot slower because he's so old. What we can do in 24 hours is unbelievable, and he looks like he's enjoying it, which is the whole point. Oh, I love that moment. We could be besties, you and me. We could have many, many, many grand adventures. Hey, 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 good boy. Vicky may have halted her second stallion dog, but she certainly hasn't won him over. Good boy, you have to learn to come off the rope. Good man. Doc's still pouring the ground. He hasn't calmed down since day one. We're not sure if it's all the recent changes or if there's something more going on. Physically, he could have eyesight issues, have toothache, infections. Mentally, he could just be totally crazy. Just like my boy, Hop. I need to keep one leg up in case he runs. That's how scared I am of you. 
they can snap at any moment and I don't trust them at all and I feel like my life is in danger and I've not worked with a horse like this. At this stage, Good boy. he's kind of winning the battle <laughs> and I'm terrified of him. You know, stallions fight in the wild, they fight to kill and I don't want to die. I'm too valuable. <laughs> I'm going to park the Hofburger for now and move on to my other stallion, Nikau. Sometimes I forget that they're wild and I touch them like I do yeah, yeah. Well, he's wild. Feel reminded. It's just because I didn't touch his neck first and whipped my way out. Am I easier down here? Oh, you don't. Slow down. And if he's slow, he can get used to it. He's just been silly. Don't. Look, that's what's on you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> He's barking it. Okay, that is what I'm putting on you. Just stop being a silly bit. Don't. You can't move your hand away. No, also, you don't want to get bitter. Maybe he's not a morning person. He's a feisty fella. <laughs> but Nico doesn't scare me like Hoff does. I'm taking Vicky's advice to be brave and get him on a rope. Okay, good boy. I did it. Come here. Good boy. Here. Good boy. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do, so he just bites his rope. <laughs> yeah. Kelly, that's the first time he's eaten out of my hands. Amanda, that's amazing. That's almost unbelievable. Wow, a minute ago he was trying to eat me. This is a much better source of fibre. Yeah, he's getting angry. Why did he do that? Now the bond is gone, mate. See, it's when they do that that all my confidence goes boom, and I want to cry. Don't do that, it was not very nice. I'm shaking really lots. Yeah. Don't! Don't! I can get you girls to muck out one yard each. This mud is... Ugh. The mud at the yards is grossing us all out. Yeah, there you go. The horses' hooves get soft and they can get nasty abscesses. We have showers for the next three days and then rain for four days straight. We need to get them home for the... Yeah, they can't stay in these yards. We're feeling the pressure to get them to the farm because the longer they stay here, the more they stress, especially if they're in pain. You have to move your feet. You're too heavy for me to not. Come on. Trouble is, we've got to be able to handle them first, and we've got a few problem horses. You don't like grass? Everybody secretly likes grass. I'm continuing with Argo until I'm sure he's too young, and I want to try and convince him to lead today. That would be awesome. There's no exit. My horsey's trying to leave me. Good boy. No exit. Nope. It sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. No. Vicky's horse is still pretty feisty, so she's bringing out her secret weapon. But there's no telling if Argo will be best mates with the trained Palomino or a fight will break out. Let him talk to it. Yeah, that's fine. Just hold his head, hold his head so he doesn't kick it. Good boy. There you go. So if you shut the gate now. Ooh. A breakthrough, finally. There's no one size that fits all, and Argo, Doc, they're different horses. With Doc, I'm a lot quieter, a lot calmer in my approach, so that he understands I'm his leader. This is called progress. Good boy. They need to know the rules and the boundaries. They need to know that life's OK. One by one, we're getting our hands on our wild boys. But we have to risk the trust we've gained to get them on the track. Yes. The weather's packing in, so we've got no choice but to get them out of this mud and up to our farm. I think we get Hoff right now. Trust Vicky to start with loading Hoff first. 
he's the most difficult of all. Crazy. So he's not running and protecting us? Look, you drop that in the mud, they won't know. <laughs> we can go back, but... Such a drama queen. It's too much for me. I'm sticking to the fence. But Kelly, she's finally growing some balls. I don't like it when you do that. Go boy, look at you. I like you. Sometimes I hate how good Vicky is at this whole horse thing. <laughs> Good boy. Oh my goodness, aren't you special? But others aren't playing ball, so Vicky's bringing back her trained horse to show them how it's done. What we're wanting to do, girls, is get him to accept us. So Texas is fantastic for this because he does tell the other horses off. Yeah, good boy again. Good boy again. Good boy again. Good. Yeah, you just learned something. I'll tell you what I'm learning. Patience. It takes a few hours to load all the wild horses. Isn't this cool? We've got so much fun stuff lined up for these Kaimanuas. It's going to be amazing to show them a different side to life. Every day is going to be filled with fun and exciting things for them and us. Next time, life's the beach. It is amazing what they're allowing us to do. Until the balls drop. Nico doesn't want his balls chopped off. But there was a puncture from one of his teeth. And the boys bite back. He's terrified. <laughs>